um, in this video, I'm going to share to you how to analyze a simple speech trust. Okay, here's the problem. The trust shown consists of six members and is supported by a short link at A, two short links at B, and a ball and socket at D. Determine the force in each of the members for the given loading. Okay. Now, in a plane truss, uh, when you analyze a joint, we have to make sure that there are only two unknown forces because uh, we can only use two conditions of equilibrium. Uh, summation of force along x equal to zero and summation of force along y equal to zero. But in space trusses, when we analyze a joint, we make sure that there will be only three unknown forces because we have three conditions of equilibrium to use. So if you check on this one, uh, on this space truss, at joint A, there are four unknown forces. Force in members EB, EC, and ED, and then force a link. Okay. For joint B, there are five unknown forces. Force in members BA, BC, and BD, and then forces on the two links. So joint D, there are six unknown forces. Force in members DA, DB, and DC, and for the ball and socket, which has three unknown components. While so joint C, we only have three unknown forces. Force in members CA, CB, and CD. Therefore, we will start analyzing joint C and then after that, transfer to another joint with only three unknown forces and so on. Okay. So we have this one, yeah? we have this simple space trust. So before we will start, let us have a review on how to express a force in space in vector form. Because in space trusses, uh, in order to express a force in vector form, you need you need to understand the unit vectors i, j, k. So this is how you will represent a force or express a force in vector form. So f over the f is the scalar value or the magnitude and uh, the unit vector x x i uh unit vectors i j k you know? x y and z are co coordinates of the distance from the tail to the tip you know? okay where d is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So uh, for the unit vectors i, j, k, kung saan siya pag, saan pag determine kung positive ba siya or negative, uh, tanawa nga kung asa ang label sa axis x, y, z. So like this one. No? Kung asa tong label niya, na ito ang positive. So from the origin going this way, Positive I, nada. Yeah, from the origin upward, positive J. Okay, a unit vector na I associated sa x axis, and then J for y axis and K for the z axis. So from the origin going this way, that's positive K. Yeah, nasa. So after makuha ni mo ng coordinates sa distance. Uh, from from tail to tip, x, y, z, masolve ni mong d and may express na ni mong force in vector form. Okay. So, let us start. Okay. First, we have force CA. Um, ang pagkasulat sa subscript CA ta, meaning the force starts from C, from joint C and then going to joint A. No? So, FCA. Oh. We need to determine X, Y, and Z. So, para mas dali sa A mo, 
Nine technique. And technique is uh, you move from C and then you end up at A. But a movement name mo must be either along sa axis or parallel sa axis. Like this one, okay? Okay. So a movement ni mo is from C. You go that way. That is negative 24i. Negative, ha? Kaya dali siya pahingon. And then after that, you go up. That's positive 10j. So, mauna siya, ibutang ni mo dali, x o y, ang k, wala. Ang, uh, rather, ang z, wala. So, pag gumawa ni mo, ang input sa x and y, dali da yun ka, makuha ni mo d. So, inaan niya. Inaan so, FCA, negative 24, okay, going that way, man, negative 24, and then upward plus 10J. Square root of 24 squared plus 10 squared is 26. And then simplify. Na na. Negative 12 over 13, FCAI, plus 5 over 13, FCAJ. And then proceed with the other forces. So next is CB. Okay, so the CB from C na sad ka, and then you end up at B. So ang movement ni mo is this one. And so negative 24i na sad, and then plus 7k. Amo ni siya. So square root of 24 squared plus 7 squared equals 25 and then you distribute one yang result and then last one fcd uh, movement is from c to d so same line eh? balil lang ang k na so that negative 24i minus 7k okay, going this way Okay. And the last force is the given force, 400 pounds. So, a movement is this one. No? Now, you will notice na downward siya. So, kung ang force gani, either parallel sa axis or along, uh, acting, uh, acting parallel or along the axis, ang buhatan nun mo is, you just write the magnitude, the scalar value bali, and then you attach the unit vector. So in this case, uh, it's 400. And then ang direction niya is downward man. And vertical man ni y. So j dapat ang yung unit vector. But since downward siya, so negative j. So inaanda lang sa lahat niyo. No component. No other component. Okay? So just the magnitude and then attach the unit vector. Negative j. Uh, to make sure that na, nakuha na ni mo ang tanan na uh, forces. No? So after this, and then you apply the condition of equilibrium. You start with summation of force equal to zero. So what you will do is i-add ni mo tanan components na unit vector niya is I. So this one. One, two, three. Wala na. So ano alam niya? Okay. Expect that you will end up with three equations with three unknowns. So you can use your calculator technique mode five uh, equation para mas dalit sa mo. Okay. Next, emission of force y equal to zero. So all components with unit vectors j. Unit vector j. So we only have this one. One and two. Now. Uh, para magamit ka itong calculator technique or feature sa calcu uh, three equations with three unknowns dapat on the left side ang three unknowns on the right side ang constant so sa J we only have CA there, eh? and then this one constant man eh. so it transpose na sa right side so instead na negative 400 siya it transpose na siya kay originally ang left side na zero man so Yan niya. Bale, supposed to be, ang negative 400 rin na siya. Negative 400 equal to 0. I-transpose ni mo, positive. 
para ang pag-input sa kalkyo, diretso na. Last, summation of force sa Z equal to zero. And then, i-add ni mo tanan components na na unit vector K. And you have this one. Uh, okay, so, kung gamit ka kalkyo, uh, mode 5, 2, and money ang result. CA is 1,040 tension. CB, negative 500 compression. And then CD, negative 500. Or 500 compression. Okay, so after this, proceed kasi joint with only three unknowns. So, kung sa B ka, you still have four unknowns. BA, BD, and then ang doka for sa link o pat. Sa D, you still have five unknown forces, D, A, D, B, and three components sa reaction sa D. So, sa A ka, kaya na naman kay value sa C, A, na naman value, so ang unknowns ni mo, tulo na lang, E, B, E, D, o ka ang four sa link. Okay, so let's proceed to joint A. Now, when I have the value of F, C, A, okay. So, yun na eh. So, but joint A, muna yung forces. A, B. Okay. So, A, B, ang movement na po ni mo, you start from A, and then you end at B. So, ano siya? So, that would be negative 10, negative, okay, downward, negative 10J, positive 7K. Ano siya? Oh, square root of 10 squared plus 7 squared the square root of 149. Ano lang, no? Square root of 149. And then you simplify or you distribute this one, this factor. One yung result. And then the next is CA. Now, take note sa subscript, ha? Easy na siya, Because the force starts from A and then will end up at C. Diba? But the magnitude is positive 1,040. Now, sa components niya, you notice na uh, ang components sa distance A to C o ang C to A, opposite sila. So, sa C, A, ano yun ta? Going this way, and then pasaka. While sa E, C, downward, and then going that way. Opposite, di ba? So, kung sa C, A ka, Negative 24, positive 10. Sa easy, bale. Positive 24, negative 10. O, ano siya, no? So, ang movement niya is yung yan eh. Uh, so, that's positive 24i, tapos negative 10j. Okay, ang sa CA, kay negative man to, negative 24, positive 10. Positive, um, opposite lang sa signs niya. And then, 9 magnitude, 1,040. And then, simplify, you have this. And then, ED, uh, movement ni mo is this one. So, yun ano siya, negative 10J minus 7K. And then, distribute this one. The fourth force is kin eh. Na. Since ang, ang A na to, link man, dili rin siya, oh. Parallel sa X, nun siya. Parallel sa X. Yung na yung force. Uh, let's assume positive direction. So, going this way. Assume naman eh, no? So, parallel sa X. So, ang buhato ni mo, uh, just the magnitude, and then you attach the unit vector. So, yun na, nila. Ang reaction sa A is just REX, X naman eh. And then, positive I. Okay, dili mo siya paingon. So, after this, condition of equilibrium is that. So, she start with emission of force x equal to zero. Uh, I-group ni mo tan component na 9i. You have this. Rax and 960. Take note. Constant ha. And that would be transpose her right side. So, this becomes negative. Rax. Emission of force y 
all components with j in a unit vector kane okay now constant ne to be transposed so may mo siyang positive 400 so ana no and then the last one so mission of forces z equal to zero Tanan forces na na ik na unit vector duha lang So, pwede ka magamit kalkyo para mas dali. Pero kung gusto ka magamit o manual by method of using method of elimination, pwede. Like sa first condition, uh, Rax is, R is equal to negative 960. That's very obvious. And for the other two, you can use method of elimination if you want. So, ang three equations will now be reduced to two equations with two unknowns. Money result. EB. Okay, the force of EB is equal to the force of member ED. Compression. And then RAX negative 960. So, after this, um, data B. Data pwede sa D kay upat, no? Kay three ka components there is a reaction plus db so there are four unknown forces so the rate has b okay we already have the value of f b a and then the value of f b c also from join c yeah. so ang unknown na to force of member b d and then the work of force link to lora okay so we'll proceed to join b So for joint B, mano sa ni mong forces. B A na sa da imong pag sulat no. F B A because the force starts from B to A. Now, yung nane lang. Um, it's a strategy or a technique na even if nana kay value and then na prove dun imong nga negative, it try lang yah po na ang pag assign ni mo sa force tension. Pero gamiton ang negative value para dili ka malibog sa distances. Kaya kung ibutang ni mo dili nga positive na and then i-apply ni mo mga compression na compression towards joint B basin malibog ka sa distances. So para dili malibog, assume lang na siya ang tension tanan pero ang gamiton ni mo kung negative siya, negative gud ang value. Kung na-solve na bita daan na negative, mag ito ang gamitan nyo. Okay. And then, um, opposite man ni EB o BA. Sa EB, kung unsa itong sign dito sa coordinates niya, opposite ang sa BA. So, i-check na to Ang EB, mo man ni EB, negative 10J plus 7K. So, sa BA, positive na said ng 10J, negative na said ng 7K. Mawa na siya. So, positive 10J and then positive 10... Ah, negative. Sorry. Negative 7K, positive 10J. And then, ang magnitude nyo gamit ni mo, negative yung hapon. Okay, mawa mo na ang nakuha na ito na value ka ganina. And then, simplify. Mawa niya ang result. Negative 200J plus 140K. And then, for BC, negative 500. I-check na ito. Narao, CB is negative 500 or BC. Ang direction tayo sa, or ang sign sa components, opposite na rin. So, CB man eh. For BC, that would be positive 24I and then negative 7K. Mana sa positive twenty four i na minus seven k minus seven k positive twenty four i and then you simplify mana ang result and then ang force ang force of BD take nota ang member BD is along the z axis so same also with this one ang buhatan ni mo you just write the magnitude 
and then you attach the unit vector and since the rectitude uh, this way it's negative negative k more uh, this is the magnitude and then you attach the unit vector negative k and then ang forces da yon so ang reaction sabi you have this one uh, let's consider positive direction so bali ang sabi ang components niya Walay component sa reaction sa Z. Ang naalang, component sa X o component sa Y. Diba? So, inaan niya ang pagsulat sa reaction sa B. RBXI plus RBYJ. Positive. Wala na eh, distance kay Kung ano yun eh? Parallel sa coordinate axis ba? So, just the magnitude and then the unit vector yung attach niya mo. Okay. So I think mo lang ni eh. and then apply na sa conditions of equilibrium. Yan. Yeah. So machine yung force x equal to 0. So ah uh, do ara man RBXI and then constant man eh. it transpose the right side it becomes positive. And then for y you have this one RBY and then negative 200, it transpose, that becomes positive. And then summation of forces Z. Uh, this one, negative, and then kine, constant money, it transpose becomes negative. 280 na, 140 plus 140, 280 transpose negative 280. So, no need to use calculator technique. The answer is very obvious. And therefore, RBX is 480, RBY 200. And then the force of member VD uh, positive na sa that tension. Okay, so yun na na lang. Eh? Um, you start from a joint with only three unknown forces. And then after that, transfer to another joint with only three unknown forces. Just make sure that uh, ang coordinates ni mo sa distance is correct para ang D ni mo correct siya. Ano alam? So, after expressing all the forces in vector form, you use the conditions of equilibrium and then solve for the unknown the unknowns. Either using your calculator na function or manually using method of elimination. Depende lang. Uh, okay, that's all and thank you for watching.